I've been accused of cheating on my fiance of four years. My fiance thinks that I would sneak outside and meet some guy and, and have sex, where? Inside the house, outside the house, in the dog house, uh, in my son's room, the bathroom. Why would I get up out of my sleep to cheat on you? Why would I not do that during the daytime when you leave to go to work? Why would I cheat on you, period, and I'm happy? A typical night in my home consists of us falling asleep together and me knowing that later on in the night he's gonna wake up and walk around the house and look for an imaginary man. Or even outside, it's snowing. I walk on eggshells because I'm afraid to talk to him or say anything because he might get upset at me. Jarvis was in jail for about a year. He called me ever so often, but I just cut the phone calls off. I met somebody, I fooled around, I realized I'd rather be alone. That person is not who I want to be with. Yeah, I fooled around with one guy two times, but he had a whole relationship with somebody else. Jarvis also thinks that I'm supposed to be faking these pregnancies. I did take a pregnancy test. I had a, a false negative, then I took it again and I had a positive. Two and a half weeks later, I had a miscarriage that was really, really hard on me. I went and talked to a doctor and she told me it's because I'm stressed that I can't carry a child. And all I want to do is bless this man that I feel deserves his own family. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's a really good guy. He's a good stepfather to my children. I just, I don't understand where this came from. It just changed. I have no idea what happened. I gave him no inkling of, of me cheating. I gave up my phone so that I, he wouldn't think that I was talking to somebody. The only reason I feel that Jarvis is cheating on me is because he's so adamant about me cheating on him and all I do is sit at home and wait on him to come home from work. If Jarvis fails this test or cheating on me, I love him so much I probably would want to work it out, but no, I can't know that you gave yourself away to someone and I'm saving myself for you. I do love him with all my heart and I'm not a cheater and I'm not a liar. I was pregnant and I did lose our baby. So I went to jail I was in jail, you know what I'm saying? I call home at least twice a week, you know, checking on her, make sure everything was okay. She's telling me, you know, she was stressing, things like that. I was like, it's gonna be okay. When I come home, I'm gonna try to do better. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that man that you need in your life. And after that, I got out. It took me like three months to find her. You know what I'm saying? I found her and I didn't get the welcome home that I thought I was gonna receive. It was, it was no, hey, I missed you or anything like that. It was get out of my face, get out of my, get out of my life. You know what I'm saying, is what I was hearing. So I left, I went and got, I met, a, I met someone, I got into a relationship. Three, four months after I had seen her, when she told, she pushed me away, she said she wanted to speak, so we talked. I went over and it was basically automatic. I, I was like, I'm, I'm back. Like, long as you ain't got nobody, I'm back. So you're a young guy, right? Yes, sir. She's older than you. Yes, sir. By almost, by a 11 decade. 11 years, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel pressure that you're supporting three children that aren't yours at such a young age? No, I, but I do feel like she faking those pregnancies and she, she, I don't feel like she can have no kids. You know what I'm saying? Because she's told you how many times that she's been pregnant by you? I've only heard of two as two. far as her telling me I think I'm pregnant. Okay. I brought you all the way out here from home to prove to you that I am who I say I am, and that I love you with all of my soul, I do. I have been pregnant more than twice. I lost our baby because of the things that you put me through. All I want you to do is see how you're affecting my body. I love you. I didn't go to the doctor. Did he say it? Yeah, I showed him the positive. And what was his reaction? He was happy. Yeah. And then what happened? I got locked up. 
You got locked up. Yeah. For a ticket for my dog. You got locked up for a ticket yes, for your for dog? Yes, for a ticket for my dog. They put you in jail? Yes. What did your dog do? I had an American Bulldog, and he's extremely overprotective of his home. And the neighbor would harass him, and my dog would answer the call. So, so your dog what, bit him? No, nah, he attacked his dog. Like... Okay, I was a police officer for many years. Mm -hmm. I've never locked up anybody mm -hmm. because of their dog. You don't live where we live. Yeah, no, I don't. Out there. Yeah, it's real different. But I can't there. imagine they're locking people up for their dogs. Yeah, I got a ticket for my dog. You got a ticket, but they didn't lock you up for that. Yeah, because I couldn't get the complete registration and the, the tag for the dog. Okay. Yeah. Well, it wasn't for the dog. It was for your failing to uh, appear or oh, no, I failing to comply. Yeah, I just couldn't get the registration. Okay. Papers. All right, we broke your uh, lie detector test on the two parts, one uh, regarding cheating and one whether you were pregnant or not. We're going to read the cheating first. Uh, Ryan, we asked you, since September 2016, have you had sexual physical contact with any other males besides Jarvis? You answered no. Since September of 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males besides Jarvis? You answer no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Ryan told the truth. She also took a lie detector test concerning uh, the pregnancies, and we asked her, have you ever become pregnant by Jarvis? She answered yes. During the course of your relationship with Jarvis, have you ever miscarried? She said yes. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Ryan told the truth. When Jarvis came in, he also took a lie detector test. And we asked him, since September of 2016, have you had any sexual physical contact with any other females besides Ryan? He answered no. Since September 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females besides Ryan? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Jarvis did not tell the truth. <laughs> You're a young guy, and I think a lot of times when we run into these relationships, when a young guy as yourself, 25 years old, dating a woman that's much older, mm -hmm. these things tend to happen. But it hasn't, though, so I'm not understanding Well, but that. you know what? She came here not... I think she already knew the truth before she got here. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't be here if she wasn't suspecting you. She obviously felt that you were doing something. Mm -hmm. um, you had no proof against her. You're accusing her, accusing her. Mm -hmm. And then what does it turn out? You're the guy that fails the test. And with that, she wants truth. She wants honesty. And if you give her a little piece of it, maybe she'll forgive you. But if you want to play the game of you didn't do anything wrong, well, then how could she ever move forward trusting you? Man, I ain't did nothing. So you okay. call it what you and want And I'm to sure call you it. said the same thing when you appeared before the judge, too, right? Yeah. Before you went nothing. to jail. Yeah, you didn't do anything. Nothing. You're just going through life and people are putting you in jail mm -hmm. and framing you for cheating because mm -hmm. you're doing nothing. Yeah. Do you believe that? <laughs> no. Get the hell out of my room. Get out of here. A lot of times when you go down that road of being with a much younger man who's in his 20s that is not mature enough to realize what he has in you, that sometimes this happens. But you got to say... Okay, go your own way, and I got to be happy. And I hope that you can do that. All right? Good luck to you, honey. Thank you, Steve. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. 
Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.